Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. As you can tell from the thumbnail, today we're going to take a look at the 10 best sports games on the Nintendo Entertainment System. So again, for this list guys, I tried to keep it as non-objective as I could. I made sure that there was uh, only one representative per sport, and again, with only 10 spots, I couldn't hit every sport, but the main criteria was that the game had to be really fun and a great representation of the sport that it was trying to uh, portray in the NES version. So, I hope you like it, and again guys, if there's something that you think should have been on this list, please let me know in the comments. Starting off our list, and again, in no particular order because these are not ranked, is the basketball entry, Double Dribble. Now, on the surface, Double Dribble looks like your regular basketball game, but it is a very solid NES port from the Arcade Classic. The gameplay is practically the same as the Arcade Big Brother, albeit pared down for the NES's capabilities. You can also play against the computer or have two players go at it for basketball supremacy. Double Dribble comes with a variety of characters, each having different speed, jump heights, and shot accuracy. You can choose from four different teams, each with similar skills and abilities. They include the LA Breakers, Chicago Ox, New York Eagles, and Boston Frogs. These teams wear jerseys that look similar to the ones worn by their NBA equivalent. The game features hotspots in its gameplay where you are highly likely to take a shot and score. The game occasionally highlights special events like dunks and shots with a kind of cutscene which was incredibly cool for its time. This was a tough choice to make and I went back and forth on this one, but for the hockey game I chose Ice Hockey. Now Ice Hockey is another sports game that was developed and published by Nintendo for the NES console. Players can enjoy realistic, for the time, controls and gameplay as you play against the computer or against friends. So, the game starts with two players facing off on the rink, and the objective is simple enough. Score more goals on your opponent's net than they can score on yours. Each team consists of five players instead of the standard six counting the goalie, like in traditional hockey. The game consists of three periods, and when the game is over, the team with the most points is the winner. Whenever two players fight for the puck for too long, their teammates join in, and the player from the losing side goes into the penalty box. I always love that. The coolest feature is your ability to create your own team. Each player has their own strengths and weaknesses, so create your team wisely. Examples, the thick guy was always the slowest, but definitely the strongest. The skinny guy was the fastest, but the easiest to check. And then the medium guy was well balanced, but he didn't excel at either speed or checking. Next up is our racing entry, and I went with RC Pro-Am. Now I know radio control driving isn't technically a major sport, but it is at least, or was, televised for a while, had sponsorship, a championship, and a fan base. Plus this is the best car racing game in the NES library. Now, by going off the name, RC Pro-Am is a racing game in which a player races a radio controlled car against three other opponents around a track for an overhead isometric perspective, which I still think looks incredible today. Across 32 tracks, the top three out of the four racers would qualify for the next race, or you would hit a game over screen. I think you only had two continues. Each track gives you a trophy, and a high score yields you the larger high score trophies leading up to the Super Trophy. For wrestling, Tecmo World Wrestling 1990. Now wrestling had a large representation on the NES library. I could probably do a top 10 wrestling games on the NES and still have a few left over. Let me know in the comments if you actually want me to do that. So by far the best NES wrestling game, Tecmo World Wrestling, best captures the feel of pro wrestling. It's well designed, the wrestlers look great, they deliver power bombs and brain busters, the flow of the bouts lead to a fun, exciting gameplay. Wrestlers include Mr. Tattoo, Mark Rose, Julio Falcon, the Iguana Man, and as you work your way up to the ranks to meet the Earl of Doom, the Blue King. What's cool about this game too is the wrestlers can choose different training exercises, a refined addition that adds an unexpected amount of depth. 
Probably my favorite thing that puts this over the edge is the game is supported by text commentary appearing at the bottom of the screen, which still impresses me today. This game is truly head of the table. For our football entry, it's Tecmo Super Bowl Football. Now building off the success of its predecessor, Tecmo Super Bowl is considered the best football game that isn't named Madden. As the player, you're once again in control of a team as you battle for gridiron dominance against the computer or other players. Unlike its precursor, Super Bowl was licensed by the NFL and it featured all of the teams and their logos of the time. Further expanding the gameplay, the player is given the option to play an entire season in hopes of winning the Super Bowl, and they can do it with their favorite NFL team and stars, again, from the time. Though still an arcade-style game, Super Bowl integrated rich cutscenes that improved the experience for all football fans. Next up for Boxing, Punch-Out! Boxing was huge on the pay-per-view scene in the late 80s and 90s, so a boxing game should have done well on a popular gaming console. But Punch-Out, or Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, not only became the best boxing game, it's arguably one of the best NES games, period. Playing this game, you're the undersized underdog Little Mac, and you need to fight your way up the circuits all the way to Tyson or Mr. Dream. Each of Mac's challengers presents a different level of difficulty, and the player must learn the enemy's weaknesses in order to beat them. Innate in its control style, Punch-Out hovers in between arcade-style sports game and a challenging adventure game complete with unique boss battles. Even after all these years later, the game is praised for its replay value and its intense difficulty. Volleyball Super Spike V-Ball The volleyball games are similar to tennis in gameplay. For Super Spike V-Ball, you play as a team entered into a world tournament. You can play in a single, dual, or even four-player style gameplay. With all of these options, volleyball and sports fans had plenty of reasons to keep this cartridge in the NES console. Interestingly, the NES version of the game allowed the players to take control of Billy and Jimmy, the heroes from Double Dragon. It was a nice little tip of the hat to the eagle-eyed fighting fan as well. Now with only 10 spots, some might find it odd to have a volleyball game added to this list, and I really considered dodgeball, but in the end I had to go with the volleyball entry. This really is a fun game alone or against your friends. Golf. NES Open Golf Tournament. This was the second golf game developed by Nintendo for the NES, and best of the group in my opinion. NES Open Tournament Golf featured three different courses. Those courses were the US course, Japan, and the UK course. They're supposed to be arranged in difficulty, but they're all pretty challenging. You play as Stripe Pants Mario and you take on the courses. It's a simple three-click swing and easy to get used to. The second player is Luigi, of course, but you also get caddies, Peach and Daisy respectively. Most people think of the black box title when they think of the go-to game of golf on the NES, but Open Tournament is much more challenging and worthwhile if you want to play 18. It's tough, but fair. For Motocross, Excite Bike. Here's a black box entry. Motocross racing fans have a reason to smile with the development of Excite Bike. This game was made and published by Nintendo for the NES console. To play, you control a motocross bike in a side-scrolling game. The game comes with two gameplay modes, Selection A and B. In Selection A, you play solo, while in Selection B, you get to race against the AI. Your objective is to finish first, second, or third in each race. What puts Excite Bike on this list is that it is customizable with the design mode, allowing you to create tracks and incorporate the 19 hurdles available. The game also features a turbo boost, which will increase your speed. However, using this feature will overheat your engine, rendering you immobile for a few seconds. Excite Bike is still fun to play even today, whether you want to just have a quick race or relax and build the course of your dreams. And last in the baseball category, Baseball Stars. Now this was another difficult choice for the best baseball game, and another sport that you could have a top 10 list all its own. 
This is totally up to preference, so again, I'd like to hear what your favorite baseball game on the NES would be. I chose Baseball Stars. Not only is it a faithful rendition of the game, but it takes it a step further and gives you the ability to customize your team through trades and play in a full season. Coming as the first NES sports game to have a battery backup, Baseball Stars allowed you to save your game and your progress and therefore create your own leagues to participate and challenge in. Way ahead of its time, the features of the game have become the standard for every sport game franchise, and it was the first to show what the future of sport gaming would look like. And that's gonna do it for another top 10 list, guys. And again, this was very difficult to do. That's why I added the runners up. So down in the comments, I'd love to hear from you guys. What were some of your favorite sports games on the NES? I'm sure everyone's list would be different. We might have a few similarities, but that's what makes it fun. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in about a week.